Hello everyone and welcome to our first week of Midweek Online. We miss you guys so much and we really wish that we could be with you every week like we normally are, but it's really best right now for us to do our communicating online and maintain social distance to help keep others in our community safe. So instead of meeting every week, Miss Lydia and I will be posting these videos each week of what our midweek lesson would have been. We hope that you will watch them with your family and study the Bible together and continue your Christian education at home. This week, we are looking at Luke chapter 2, verses 41 through 52. The story is Jesus in the temple. Now, what you're going to need to do this is your Bible. So if you don't have your Bible, I'll wait. Or you can pause me to go get your Bible and then come back. And we're going to find the book of Luke. Now, in the Bible, what book is the book of Luke? In the Old Testament or the New Testament? The New Testament, you're right. So the New Testament is towards the back of the Bible. And I kind of cheated a little bit. I had Luke already marked. But Luke is the third book in the New Testament. So there's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So we're going to go to Luke. Luke is chapter 2. So I'm going to go find my page with chapter 2. If you have a deep blue Bible, like the one that I gave you, you're going to be on page 1140. And on page 1140, we find the story of Jesus in the temple at Passover. Go ahead and read it with your family. Now that you've finished reading it in your Bible, I'm going to read you another version that I have in my Children of God Storybook Bible. This Bible is written by Archbishop Desmond Tutu, and it's one of my favorites. So if you love it, tell your parents. Have them buy it for you. If you're a parent, buy it. It's good. All right, this one. Jesus goes to Jerusalem with his parents. One day when Jesus was 12, he traveled with his family to Jerusalem to celebrate the feast of the Passover. He was so excited that he kept asking his parents, Are we there yet? I can't wait to see the temple again. When the celebration was over, the families from Jesus' village began their journey home. The children were all running and playing together along the way. Mary and Joseph thought Jesus was with his friends. But when they looked for him, he was nowhere to be found. Mary and Joseph were terribly worried. We must have left him behind in Jerusalem, said Mary. For three Days they searched for Jesus in the crowded streets and markets of the city. At last they went to the temple, and there was Jesus sitting with the teachers, amazing them with his wisdom and how well he understood God's love. Mary was very upset. We have been searching for you everywhere. Why were you searching for me, Jesus replied gently. Didn't you know that I would be in my father's house? Jesus had realized that God was his true father. Mary's eyes grew wide, and she never forgot that moment. Jesus grew into a man, both strong and wise. Now, each of these stories ends with a prayer, so let's say that prayer right now. Repeat after me. Dear God, help me to speak with your wisdom. Amen. All right, now that we've read two versions of the story, let's watch the video. Come and see Jesus, the Son. This is Jesus. Hey Jesus is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in a barn because there was no room in the inn for him. After Jesus was born, his mother, Mary, Hi. and her husband, Joseph, hey took Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem. There was a man named Simeon hey, who loved God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God has told Simeon that he would meet the Savior before he died. Yeah, yeah. 
When Mary and Joseph arrived at the temple, Simeon was there. Oh my. When Simeon saw Jesus, he took him in his arms and blessed him. Thank you. He knew that this was the promised child who would save them all. It's true. Mary and Joseph were amazed at his words. There was also a woman named Anna in the temple. When she saw the baby that Simeon was holding and heard all that he had said, she gave thanks to God and told everyone that the Savior had come. When everything had been done as God commanded, Mary and Joseph went home to Nazareth. Jesus grew up. He became strong and filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Every year, Jesus' parents traveled to Jerusalem for a festival. When Jesus was 12, come on, they went just like every other year. But when the festival was over and Mary and Joseph were traveling back home, They realized that Jesus was not with them. Uh oh. Come on. So they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. This oh, his name is Jesus. I haven't seen him. They searched everywhere. Jesus. Not Jesus. 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 After three days, they found him in the temple. Jesus was sitting among the religious teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Hey, Mom. When Mary and Joseph found him, they said, Why have you done this? We've been searching for you everywhere. But Jesus said, Why did you look for me? Didn't you know I would be here in my father's house? Huh? But his parents didn't understand what he meant. So Jesus left with them, See you later. Bye, Jesus. And came back to Nazareth, where he obeyed them. Hey. Here you go. And he continued to grow in wisdom and favor with God and man. I hope you liked the video. Now let's talk about it. So do you know of any other stories in the Bible about Jesus as a kid? Me neither. There isn't any. This is the only story that we have that talks about Jesus as a kid. And in this story, Jesus does something that any of our parents would be so upset with us if we did. He just went off by himself and his parents were traveling back home before they even realized that he was missing. Ugh. So they turned around, they went back and they were searching for him for three days, three days. I couldn't even imagine being missing for three days. Now, if a kid is missing for three days, there is Amber Alerts call, the police are looking, the whole town, Facebook is full of posters and people are trying to find, where's this kid, where's this kid? And Jesus was gone for three whole days. You better believe Mary and Joseph were upset. I know I would have been as a mom, but Jesus wasn't even scared. He was at the temple and he was talking to the other teachers and talking about God and it didn't even phase him. That's one way I can tell that Jesus is totally different than me. There was one time whenever, or probably a couple times, whenever I was a little girl and my mom used to go shopping at Walmart. Now, back then Walmart had these circle clothing racks and they were perfect to hide in. So while my mom was shopping, me and my sisters would go get inside of the clothing racks and hide and like try to find each other. And it was a lot of fun. But I remember one of those times, my sisters didn't come find me. And so I like got out of the clothing rack and I was looking for my mom around the store. And that was the first memory I have where I was really just scared because I was alone and I couldn't find my mom. And I remember like walking through the aisles, like the big aisles of the store and just being alone and just filling with that anxiety and that panic. My stomach hurt and I couldn't find my mom. And then all of a sudden there she was right in front of me. And I was terrified that I got left. 
Now, my mom wouldn't have left me. She would have been looking for me, but she was letting us play around in the store and she didn't know that I was scared. So that's how I know that Jesus is different than me, than us. If I was missing from my parents for three days, I would be terrified. But Jesus was in the temple with the teachers and he wasn't scared at all because he knew he was in his father's house, God's house. Can you think of a time that you were really scared when you were away from your parents? Why don't you talk about it? All right, guys, now it's time to do our memory verse. The memory verse for the next six weeks is, all things are possible for the one who has faith. Mark 9, 23. We're gonna do it three times. So the first time we're gonna say it for the Father our Father, God in heaven. And we have to say it so loud that he'll hear us all the way up there. Are you ready? On the count of three, you're gonna say the verse as loud as you can. One, two, three. All things are possible for the one who has faith. Mark 9, 23. Good job. Now we're gonna say it for the Son. And the Son, Jesus, lives in our hearts. So we'll just say it in our normal tone of voice. On the count of three. One, two, three. All things are possible for the one who has faith. Mark 9, 23. Great. Now the last one, we're saying it for the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is a quiet whisper that we have to listen to really hard to hear God talking to us. So we're going to say this one in a whisper. On the count of three. One, two, three. Good job. All right, guys, that concludes our lesson for the week. But don't worry, because Midweek Online has all of the normal rotations you would do at Midweek at church. So after this, you'll go to the next video where Miss Lydia will lead you in a craft about Jesus going to the temple. Following the craft rotation, you'll go to music rotation, where you will practice the song, I Am Who You Say I Am, with the video that we usually do during Midweek. After that, you will go to Faith by Rotation, where you will share, read, talk, pray, and bless each other. But you'll have to do it with your family this time instead of your friends. I hope that this video was super fun for you. It's been very interesting for me to make, and I look forward to making you another one next week. Make sure that you're praying at home for all of the people who may be affected by this virus, and stay away from other people. Let's all keep our community safe by staying at home. I love you and I'm so happy that you get to see me online and I would love to see you. So email me, send me pictures, send me videos, post them on our Facebook page and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Mwah.